This is my show. I'll ask questions. Give me a well, second. You had me on your show. I, so I know, but, makes, I, but hey, I, don't no, cut me off. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not cutting you off, but I do want. Are you a, are you a paid campaign surrogate? Are you being compensated? Never by the, Let me be clear. You get paid to shape a liberal narrative. You get paid to attack this president. I don't a get a question. dime for this president. Whenever African American, that's a Sir, I, I did not raise your let race. Me now. Let me no, no, finish. Wait, wait, let no, me finish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not going you to imply that I asked that question, question because you're black. Left, so don't ask me that. You only ask me that because I don't fit your narrative. And you need to accept that many other African Americans and others support this president because of his policies. And to insult me to say, am I getting paid? I've asked that the same question. I have asked that the same false. question and of, that's of, of Democrats of who come MSNBC on. MSNBC and their narrative to keep blacks silent who happen to support this president. So I have to get paid. Do you ask Democrats? Do they I, get I paid? Just said, I just said, if you get paid by Joe Biden. I just asked, I just said have to you. Have you ever asked any host on your show I, that they've been paid by Joe Rep Biden? State I Representative Vernon heard. Jones. Representative Jones, thank you. Do come back. Hey, welcome back, everybody. I saw this clip yesterday and knew I just had to comment on it. Um, it's from yesterday on MSNBC, and it's an interview between Craig Melvin and the Democrat state rep uh, Vernon Jones of Georgia. Uh, this guy's a pro-Trump Democrat, so obviously he's going to be a target of networks like MSNBC. We're going to get into all of this. Trust me, you'll want to see it. But first, just give me 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer for my subscribers. You likely already know what collagen is. Collagen makes your skin healthy and gives you a youthful look. It strengthens nails, hair, teeth, and gut health maintains muscle, improves joints, and so much more. Get yourself a bag of Ageless Multi Collagen. I highly recommend it. As an added bonus, if you order today, they'll give you free shipping, free VIP live health and fitness coaching for life, and a free e-report on the 14 foods for amazing skin. If you order today, you can save up to 51% off Ageless Multi Collagen. And rest assured knowing this company offers a 60 day money back guarantee, even on empty bags. Go to www.healthwithdronetech.com and order today. Or click the link in the description or pinned comment. And so he goes on and immediately this Craig Melvin host uh, accuses him of being paid off by Trump. Of course, because he's black and why would a black person support Trump? And so, uh, of course, this enrages his guest who immediately comes back and calls him out for being, you know, a liberal Democrat Party mouthpiece that he clearly is. And at one point. Craig claims that, oh, uh, this is what I ask every Democrat, and I've, I've asked other Democrats if they're getting paid off. I've asked that the same question. I have asked that the same tall. question and of, that's of, of Democrats of who MSNBC. come on. Now, he says this, and you know, I watch a lot of this stuff. I've never once seen that. I haven't seen anybody ever accuse a Democrat of being a, you know, paid off by Joe Biden. And that's a question you would think that you would hear because there's so many of these Democrats that were so anti-Biden, but now are. So why aren't they asking them if they've been paid off? Uh, so I went searching for any examples. I found zero, by the way. And I actually had some people from my Discord channel. Uh, we have a research channel and I had people in there looking uh, for any examples. They couldn't find any examples. Uh, right before I started this video, I looked some more, could not find anything. So surprise, surprise, he was lying. At one point he bristles at the suggestion that he's asking him this question because he's black saying, oh, I can't believe that I can't let you get away with saying that I'm asking you this because you're black. Oh, really? Suddenly now the tactics that you use on a regular basis, once they're used on you, suddenly it's out of bounds. I didn't even really have to go looking for examples of him asking Democrats this question because I know that that's BS. And so is his claim that he's not asking him this question because he's black. How do I know this? Because MSNBC has a long history of doing this to black conservatives and just generally any prominent black person that splits from the Democrat party. You always see this treatment of them uh, in the media, but especially from MSNBC. Just look at this example from just a couple days ago. The president of the United States, Donald J. Trump, and we as the country, Tiffany, have done a marvelous job and a wonderful job combating this China virus that has taken over our economy. So I just want to correct is, you. <laughs> No, no. You lead the diversity coalition, and you're you're calling, you're using uh, these racist terms like it, the China it virus, came from and China. COVID nineteen. Yes, it came from China. yes, but That's I, where it came from. yeah, but where it's not an easy thing. Where did the virus come from? China. What? I'm sorry. 
Where did the virus come from? Uh, look, I think MSNBC has a lot Fine of people enough. in rotation to host this show. When you get in rotation, you can ask the question. <laughs> what is wrong with these people? Like he said, it came from China. It's the China virus. But I don't want to spend another video arguing that stupid point. What happened next is what's relevant. She's so triggered and upset by the fact he called it the China virus that she then asks him if he's been bribed for his blind support of Trump. Let me ask you, has Donald, let me, because I'm curious, this is, this is my last question because we're running out of time, but I am curious because when I see folks like you um, support this president. Gee, I don't know. What do you think she means by folks like you? Folks like you um, support this president. Has Donald Trump ever promised you anything financially in exchange for your blind support um, of this administration or helping his campaign? On the record, can you tell us if he's ever promised you anything financially or otherwise? No. Okay, so there you have it. What did she ask her? She asked if folks like you are getting bribed by Donald Trump for your blind support. So who is she talking about? She's talking about black people. So when Craig Melvin claims that he's, oh, I'm not asking this because you're black, of course he is. And MSNBC, like I said earlier, does have a long history of doing this to black conservatives and any black person that parts with the Democrat party. Off the top of my head, I can think of several examples of MSNBC doing this going back to the Obama years. For example, there was a time an MSNBC reporter interviewed a black man at a tea party and acting completely confounded that this guy was at a tea party rally. He responded kind of in confusion because he hadn't experienced any racism from white people at these rallies because it was largely just a narrative from the media trying to scare people who might actually want to join the Tea Party into thinking that they were a bunch of racist monsters and terrorists. There aren't a lot of African-American men at these events. <laughs> yeah, right. Have you ever felt uncomfortable? No. No, these are my people. Americans. Or how about the time David Schuster grilled black conservative Kevin Jackson over his support for the Tea Party rally, which he, the MSNBC host, described as violent and racist. Joining us is the author of The Big Black Lie, How I Learned the Truth About Democracy, About the Democratic Party. Um, and uh, Kevin Jackson, first of all, what do you make of, uh, of the latest information from Congress that, um, I mean, there's, there are increasing concerns uh, about uh, this possibly getting out of hand, some of this uh, violent imagery and rhetoric? Well, I've been to many tea parties around the country, and I've yet to see anybody, any real violence towards anybody. So I think it's a bit overstated. And were you there on Saturday, though, at the Capitol when uh, Congressman Lewis and other members of the Congressional Black Caucus were, were, were greeted with uh, derogatory racial slurs when another member of Congress was spat upon? Were you there for that? Just a reminder about the fake news story he referenced just there. No evidence of that ever turned up. Even though there were cameras and voice recorders everywhere in that area during that rally, nobody, even though Breitbart put out a $100,000 reward, could ever come up with a shred of evidence to back up that claim. Wasn't there for that, but uh, saw the video about it and, so, and determined that uh, a lot of what they were saying had happened actually hadn't occurred. But Kevin, are you okay when, uh, when President Obama, the first African-American president, is depicted the way he's depicted on some of these signs, whether it's the Hitler mustache or whether it's being depicted as like the Joker. I mean, are, is that okay with you? It's par for the course. Every president that's been elected has gone through something like that. Bush has been, uh, was demonized as, a, as a, a gorilla, as a chimpanzee, as a cowboy, cowpoke, and a host of other things. In fact, he was depicted as Hitler many, many times. Okay, I just have to stop it here again because you notice the standards that he's applying to the Tea Party. He's trying to pick out individual examples of bad people and then smear the whole movement with it. Yet, what is it that we've heard from the media in regards to the violent riots and looting that have been going on across the country for the last few months? They say that you can't pick out the aberrant actors to smear the whole movement with, yet as you can see, this is exactly what they do to our side. They did the exact same thing to the lockdown protesters. In Niagara, New York, Rochester, New York, Arizona, Ohio, and Kansas where Democratic Party offices, congressional offices were targeted with stones or bricks thrown through the window. And you're saying that that's happening yeah, well, who threw them? and all I'm who asking is them? name them. Who threw them? Or do you have do you have the actual evidence of the people who threw them? In many cases, these are Democrat operatives that are doing a lot of this this stuff. So when so you, you when you can bring just, me just evidence clear, that says this was a Republican person, this was a Republican person that did that, that, then I'll believe Democratic you. So this all just circles back to Craig Melvin and his claim he wasn't asking these questions about this Democrat Vernon Jones being paid off by Trump for his support. Clearly, this is a tactic of MSNBC. They want to stop any kind of hemorrhaging of black people from the 
the Democrat Party by bringing on anyone who does and shaming them on national airwaves. It just goes to show how weak the arguments are on the left and how little confidence they have in them. That's why they have this laundry list of labels that they can throw at you in place of arguments because they know nothing they're going to say is going to convince anybody. But they do know that if they call you a racist, that will not only shut you up, but it'll show everybody else that they just won the argument. That's all I got for you today, folks. I just wanted to show you those clips and just show you how the claim that he wasn't doing it because he's black is just totally bunk. I mean, you can just look back at recent history and see that they're only asking this of black conservatives or black Democrats who have left the party. If you like this video, please hit that like button, share and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so by supporting its sponsors or donating on one of the platforms that are listed in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.